What's up guys? In today's video, we're going to be breaking down the Arizona Cardinals base formation. Now this is the base formation that I would recommend using out of the top five sets for success from the Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook in Madden NFL 20. For those of you that don't know, my name is Cody, and basically what I do is I try to help you get better at Madden. And what I want to encourage you to do, if this is your first time watching the video, go ahead and watch this video all the way through. Let me know if it helps you in the comments. And lastly, if you, you get value out of this video, what I want to ask you to do is join our Discord server. The link is in the description. It's also in the comments. And that is a way that you can go through and you can talk with other people from the Madden community. They can help you get better. But also, this is a way you're going to get access to a couple of exclusive pieces of content. And once we hit 100 members in our Discord server, everyone in the Discord server is going to get a free offensive and defensive ebook for Madden NFL 20. So I uh, hope you guys join that. Anyway, let's jump into this. So the five sets for success. The first set is base play. Now, base play is base formation is something that you can basically run, come out in every play. You can quickly identify what the defense is doing. Some of the best base formations in men history have been the shotgun bunch. They've been the shotgun spread. They've been the shotgun tight slots, the shotgun doubles. In Arizona, we like to use the spread Y flex week. Now, the audibles you're going to want to set are Y cross, inside zone, drive, and Y stick. And again, this is the formation that you're going to do a little bit of everything with. You want to put your fastest wide receiver here on the left side. You want to put your best overall receiver on the right side. And for like the Chiefs, you would just sub in Sammy. They have speed everywhere, so you don't have to worry too much about it. But then you see I've got Bird here, and then I've got uh, a tight end. You know, you don't. You can also go to the wide receiver slot package and get four wide receivers, depending on your personnel. But anyway, let's jump into mesh here. So this is a play that's going to be good against all sorts of different things that your opponent's going to try to do. My first and only adjustment on this play is I take the running back and I put him on a streak. And then I'm going to motion Larry Fitzgerald into the right. And you'll see if they are in anything except a cover two defense, that route right there is going to be very, very, very open. Um, that was a cover four. Let me show you a cover two sink. And let me show you just what happens. This is a non-base aligned cover two sink. You'll see if you get some space on that outside, you, they're, they're going to swat the ball sometimes. But again, if they're not in cover two, so say they run cover four, or also even if they run cover one or cover two man, that little motion snap to Larry Fitzgerald, as you can see, when he cuts to the outside, he's going to beat man-to-man -man coverage. Now, one of the things I want to encourage you with with this play is it's really, really important to identify which corners are backed off. So, for example, in this scenario, both corners are backed off. So my first read is the out route. The out route on the left side is going to beat backed off coverage 99% of the time. So you want to look that way. If he's open, go ahead and hit him on the out route. If they're pressed up, so maybe they're running something like this right here, and they're pressed up something like this, what I like to do with Christian Kirk is I basically kind of concede that they're going to stop his out route. So I'm either going to put him on a comeback route or I'm going to put him on a deep streak. And you'll see at the snap of the ball, if he's on a deep streak, there, it doesn't work real well, but you see those check down mesh routes are going to open up against zone. What I love about the mesh this year, and really every year, is if they're in man-to-man, -man, the, the mesh routes are going to understand that, and they're going to run man-beating drag routes. As you can see here, he's still in man, and I'm, my guy runs a man-beating drag route, just a basic crossing route across the formation. However, maybe they say, maybe you say they go to those that cover two that we talked about, and one of the things that you'll see a lot of this year is they're going to do something like this right here, where they're going to kind of get bring these guys in manually and drag them in just like so. Well, what's going to happen is you're going to be able to hit these drag routes right up the middle of the seams there. As you can see, against different types of zone defenses, you're going to be able to do that. So that's what makes this such a good base formation because, again, you can handle man and you can handle zone from one formation. What's also really nice about this specific formation is there's a little trick with this formation that will help you pick up the blitz a little bit more. If you motion Clay to the left side of the formation, you'll see here he goes into this little left slot. However, if you motion him... Um, if you motion him to the right, you see that he's going to come in compress here like so. But also, if you motion him to the left, so let me just block the running back, and I'm going to motion Clay across the, the formation to the left and block right there, snap it right there. You'll see he'll block, and he'll be a nice little um, little piece of protection for Kyler Murray so Kyler Murray can do what Kyler Murray does best, and he can run around and get mobile. Okay, so again, that's a little bit about that specific play. Now, 
once you see something like this, maybe they're in a defense like this, right? And they're doing this to you. What you want to do is you want to try to check down to the inside zone. That's what's so good about the spread. It's easy reads. If there's if there's not if there's um, five, you have five offensive linemen. He has five defenders. So what you're banking on is basically that your linemen are going to block. Everyone's going to block one on one, hat on a hat. And in this year's game with Madden 20, that's very much the case. So if you see a look like this, you want to go ahead and run the inside zone. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to kind of force them to honor your inside zone. That's what's good about a base formation. It's a formation that you can run out of. It's also a formation you can pass out of. That's what makes this so good. So I can run that same motion with Larry Fitzgerald, snap the ball, and you see I got a nice little inside zone, and it's easy, easy reads. Again, if they maybe they pinched their line or whatever they might do to stop the inside zone, what that's going to do is it's going to open up your passing game. In a situation where they're running a lot of cover two, what I like to recommend is for you to go to the drive play. The drive play is a basic levels concept, and as you can see, Larry Fitzgerald's route is going to get wide open against the cover two because it's going to basically fall away from it. It's that same exact motion. You're always motioning that receiver on the right side in just a little bit on most of your plays. And if you're not, then it's a quick snap or quick hike. For example, maybe they come out and they're going to press coverage you. So maybe they go to something like this defense right here where they man align and they press coverage because they think they're they're going to be able to stop you. Well, if you audible to the Y stick play, you see that it has this nice little delayed fade on it. And so what's going to happen is he's going to beat the press and you can kind of throw a little, um, whoops, I'm sorry, not against two man. But if they're in like a cover zero, if they're in like a cover zero, right, and they base man align press and then they maybe shade coverage over top, you're going to see what's going to happen is at the snap of the ball, Larry Fitzgerald is going to kind of get over the top right there. And you can, it's a nice little back shoulder th animation that you can get. So again, if that's Tyree Kill or somebody like that, it's going to be even more effective. The last play that I want to go over is Y cross. And to do that, you need to be on a specific hash. Basically, you want to run wide cross and you want to run your streak to the opposite hat like the wide side of the field hash mark so so in this situation here i'm on the right side of the field so i'm going to run y cross now if he runs cover two which a lot of people will do this he's going to run cover two and you'll see what the only adjustment i'm going to make to this play is i'm going to block my running back and i'm going to take bird and i'm going to put him on a flat if they are hard flatting on the outside or they're not being very honest defense, you see you're going to be able to hit that right up the seam there to Kirk. One of the other things that you're going to be able to do, though, is let's say they do something like this, right? And you'll see this a lot if you play Madden at all, where they're going to blitz everybody, basically, but they're going to leave the four deep blues, right? They're going to leave the four deep blues. So they're going to use her one guy, and then they're going to blitz one guy. And it's basically just a max pressure, right? Well, if I go to this play here, Y cross, in a, in a quick situation, I'm going to block my running back. I'm going to slide protect here. I've got the Y cross as a quick read. And then you see here, this little flat route, you can get, you can rack it and get up field. And you have to kind of click on to do that. But let me show you this really quickly. This is just one little wrinkle that you can add in for those heavy blitzing defenses that you'll inevitably face in this year's game. So again, if I go to Y cross, because I want to run it to that wide side of the field, I'm going to take my left slot receiver, put him on a flat. I'm going to block my running back, and then I'm going to pass lead. And then you see here, I'm going to rack catch it upfield. And there's a quick five to seven yards. If they just stay in kind of standard coverage, right? If they just stay in kind of st standard coverage against you and you're running the play Y cross, you're going to see that Charles, your tight end here, if you have time in the pocket, you're going to step up, step up, step up. And you'll see here he's going to go over. Whoops. He's going to go over that linebacker. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick breakdown of the Arizona Cardinals base formation. We're going to be back tomorrow and we're going to be breaking down how to beat man specific defense from this playbook. We actually have a whole formation that's designed to beat man here. You'll see this, um, this Y cross. And normally he'll cross all the way across, but I think because I scrambled, he kind of stopped. But, but anyways, guys, again, thanks for watching today's video.